Welcome to the uh, <clears throat> February 21st uh, Planning Commission meeting. Uh, we will go ahead and get started with um, a Pledge of Allegiance led by Dennis Smith and Randy, do you have that flag nearby? Hope so. Everybody could just mute themselves or... That way I do not. I uh, have one. Okay, oh. Annette, if you could put one up, please. Can you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Dennis. Uh, can we get a roll call, please? Yes. Commissioner Anderson. I'm here. Commissioner He. Here. Commissioner Hughes. Here. Commissioner Schmidt. Here. Vice Chairperson Keene. Tori. She's here. I, I saw her. Um, Chairperson Vanden Eichhoff. Here. So we have six present and one excused absent. Great. Thank you. Um, can I get a motion to approve the agenda, please? So a motion. Move. Oh. Okay, well, well, do Anderson first and Hughes second? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <are>. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Hughes? Yes. Commissioner He? Yes. Commissioner Schmidt? Yes. Vice Chairperson King? Chairperson Van Den Eickhoff? Yes. Motion passes 5-0. Thank you. Uh, we'll move into the public comment portion of the meeting, which is reserved for anything that is not on the agenda for tonight, over which the Planning Commission might have jurisdiction. Uh, speakers are limited to three minutes, and if they could please state your, if you could state your name for the record uh, before making a presentation, and the Commission will take such action um, to direct staff uh, to place a matter of business on a future agenda. Is there anybody in attendance that would like to speak on anything not on our, on our agenda? I do not see any, any hands raising. So we'll go ahead and close uh, the public comment portion of the meeting. Um, We'll go ahead and move, move into the consent calendar. Can I get an, a motion to approve the consent calendar, please? I'll make a motion, motion to approve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Greg first, Randy second. Yep. <laughs> okay, can we get a roll call on that? On that? Here, Mr. Heath? Yes. Commissioner Hughes? Yes. Commissioner Anderson? Uh, yes. Commissioner Schmidt? Yes. Vice Chairperson King? Yes. Yay, there you are. <laughs> um, <laughs> Chairperson Van Den Eickhoff? Yes. Motion passes 6 0. Okay. Well, the first item of business is. Um, Planning Commission reorganization and the election of the chairperson and vice chair for this for the um, next two years. And if anybody would like to motion, make a motion for I'll motion. Okay, Randy. I would like to motion uh, if we could have Jeff Van and Eickhoff as a leader again. I will second that. You go ahead, Greg. Okay, are we ready for roll call? Yeah. Okay, Commissioner Hughes? Yes. Commissioner Heath? Yes. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Schmidt? Undeniably, yes. <laughs> Vice Chairperson Keene? Yes. Chairperson Van Den Eyka? Yes. Motion passes 6-0. I was going to ask like if the victim was agreeable to that. 
but he yeah. motioned yet. Yeah, he said yeah. yes. So. Congrats. <laughs> I would like to make a motion that we appoint uh, Tory as vice chair. Wait, did we ask Jeff if he wanted to be chair here? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have actually, to, but it's always it's always a good idea. Yeah, actually, Randy and I had a had the chance to meet each other for the very first time in in person, and he talked to me about it then. So, <laughs> total total fluke. My wife's car broke down right in front of their office, and Aww. Jeff got to see me after I had to run about a half a mile up a hill where I live to get a jumper pack. <laughs> and so I'm having an asthma attack and Jeff is in a hat and I'm like, why is this voice familiar? And he's seeing me buckled over on the ground, kind of like a crying, but um, it was a pleasure to meet you. So you actually had a jumper pack. Wow. Yeah. Higher amperage. Um, when you're, yeah, it actually uh, using direct cables wouldn't work. So I have like one of those yellow ones where it's got a really good kick, but. Anyway, I would like to renominate Tori King as vice chair. Is there a I'll second? second Pat. Okay, great. All right. Commissioner Schmidt? Yes. Commissioner Heath? Yes. Commissioner Anderson? Absolutely. Commissioner Hughes? Heath, you beat me to it. Absolutely. Vice <laughs> <laughs> Chairperson King? Yes, and thank you. Chairperson Van Den Eyck? Yes. Motion passes 6-0. Great. Corey does a great job when you're not here, Jeff. I'm so happy to, to hear that. I, I tuned in for a few minutes during the last meeting and saw that it was going well. <laughs> Thought I saw you lurking. <laughs> but I realized I couldn't do anything, so I was like, uh, I'll go do something else. So thank you. Go to sleep. And I, I appreciate uh, the nomination again. And, your your confidence in me being able to lead well, this group. Thank you for uh, accepting. So um, our next item of business is our public hearings. So uh, for each of the following items, the public will be given the opportunity to speak after the staff report. The chair will open the public hearing and invite the applicant and the applicant's representative to make any comments. Members of the public will be invited to provide testimony to the commission following the applicant. Speakers should state their name for the record and can address the commission for three minutes. After all public comments have been received, the public hearing will be closed and the commission will discuss the item and take appropriate actions. So before we start with um, item number two for 10850 LLC vesting tentative track map, if we can have any disclosures of ex parte, and we'll start with Dennis. No. Okay. Uh, Greg. No ex parte. Jason. No ex parte. And Randy. Uh, no ex parte. And Tori. Uh, you are muted there, Tori. No ex parte. Okay. Thank you. And none for me as well. So we'll go ahead and turn this over to staff. Uh, I believe is Mariah the going to be making the presentation? Yes, but, but before she starts her presentation, I just have a couple of comments to make on this item that we continued from our previous hearing. Um, I have had discussion on this item with our team, and I understand that there also is a claim pending with the city on the issues associated with the drainage. And you heard some of those comments from the community last time. I just wanted to make um, sure that we keep our discussion and comments on the map and the subject of the matter tonight. Uh, because of that particular topic, uh, tonight is not to discuss the drainage issues or anything associated with that. And the map itself does not have anything to do with those issues. But uh, I'd be happy to, to help guide the conversation that way. Anyway, I'm going to let Mariah give the presentation that we had continued from our last hearing due to a clarification on the project conditions. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. And I was going to make that comment myself, but thank you very much. OK, great. Yeah, thank you for clarifying that, Phil. Um, yes, so this is a continuation of the condominium subdivision proposed at 10850 El Camino Real. 
just a brief overview and I'll give a little bit of background about how we got here tonight, but this project is in the residential multifamily zoning district and it's just under four acres. The project was presented at the last planning commission hearing and after the commission um, discussed the project, the vote was unanimous to ask staff to go back, review the conditions and remove any conditions that are not related to the approval of this map. Briefly going over the project summary, this project was approved in 2017 for a 75 unit residential project. These consisted of 48 apartments, 20 attached townhomes, seven single family cottages, as well as on site parking and landscaping amenities to serve the residents of these units. The project was then revised to 43 condominium units instead of 48, but the rest of the project remains unchanged as far as the project description. The reason this has to go before the Planning Commission, um, just a reminder, is that a map was originally approved when the project was approved in 2017. That map expired and the applicant, um, instead of basically reviving that old map, they applied for a new map. So this includes subdividing those front lots as you see on the map on your screen, but then also creating 31, or I'm sorry, 43 condominium units in the three-story building on that back lot, which is lot 31. Um, so this is a brand new map coming to the Planning Commission um, for brand new approval, but only for the map. So in conclusion, staff did work with our public works team to revise and remove any conditions that were unrelated to the proposed map. Um, some of them were uh, attached to the grading um, and the building permit. So we just took those out and clarified the conditions just to what's being proposed here, which is the subdivision. The project is consistent with the zoning ordinance and meets the minimum density established by the Atascadero Municipal Code. So the conditions of approval that we are recommending with this um, with this project, with the revisions that the Planning Commission recommended or requested last time. Um, they're all in your staff report. These conditions of approval, I simply wanted to highlight the ones that were removed if there were any questions. Um, so we did take out some of those conditions and these are all of those. And then we did revise a few conditions. So condition number 20, we just clarified um, that there be basically um, an estimate of cost for improvements if they're remaining on the project and um, that the final map must be consistent with what is approved with this tentative tract map. So minor changes to the conditions and then removing all of the unrelated conditions. The project is consistent with the mitigated negative declaration that was originally adopted with the original approval numbers 2017-0009 in 2017. And staff's recommendation is that the Planning Commission adopts the draft resolution approving the vesting tentative tract map for a 31 lot subdivision with the 43 residential airspace condominium units based on findings and subject to conditions of approval. As always, the Commission can approve modifications to the project. The Commission can refer the item back to staff or the commission may deny the permit, um, but the commission must specify the reasons for denial if that is the decision. And at this time, staff is available for questions. Sorry about that. Uh, any commissioners have questions for staff? So uh, I, I have a question for staff. Uh, question regarding, the, so the project was originally approved for an 48 unit um, senior apartment, and now it'll be 30, 43 condo units. Did, 
did the building change or the footprint of that building change at all or is it is that all the same let me go back to the map here so um Kelly or Phil, maybe correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that the building extended a little bit further out um, into the front here. But as the project changed from senior apartments to now just um, uh, market rate, I suppose, not senior restricted units, they were required to add a little bit more parking to the site. So they added some more parking in the middle here, um, which I believe accounted for taking up a couple of those units sounds about right okay great any other questions okay and we'll go ahead and invite uh the applicant or the applicant's representative to address the planning commission at this time i am john conicel um with 1050 llc I'm here and uh, thank you for your consideration and here to answer any questions if you have any and the things that you've stated uh, um, prior here um, are correct and um, I'm here to answer any questions if need be. Great, thank you. Um, any questions of the applicant by the planning commissioners? Okay. Thank you, John. We'll go ahead and open up for public comment at this time. Um, any anybody that would like to speak on this this item that is on the agenda, if you could please raise your hand in the attendees, and somebody will let you in. Um, remember to state your name for the record, and you will have three minutes to uh, present to the uh, planning commission. We did receive many letters, and I've read all the letters that have come through, um, even the ones that came at the last minute. So. Um, just so you're aware of that. But if you'd like to speak, you can certainly raise your hand and, and we'll take comments at this time. Next, we have John Felsher. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, are you able to hear me? Yes. Oh, great. Okay, well, thank you. Um, <clears throat> I first want to point out that uh, I'm not aware of any uh, law that would prohibit you from discussing the matters of the approval of this project, nor any of the conditions affected by the project. Uh, so I'm surprised to hear uh, staff making that assertion. But I wanted to indicate a couple of things that are not correct uh, about what staff is telling you. First of all, the project does affect the drainage on the site. Uh, not only is there more impervious surface created by the addition of the building, in size, but the replacement of parking uh, over on top of what was green belts, is my understanding, uh, is going to alter and does alter the runoff into whatever the drainage system is. We have raised some serious concerns about how that drainage system is supposed to work. Not all of our concerns are off-site. Uh, many of them are on-site and dealing with the drainage in uh, drainage management area eight, uh, which does not appear to have been addressed by the expert uh, own engineer uh, presented uh, to you by written letter by the, uh, by the owner. So there are questions about the uh, offsite condition that's imposed uh, by the improvement plans. Uh, our engineer has raised a qu qu questions related to that. I, I think it's entirely appropriate for the Planning Commission to get the questions answered and not answered by a staff reference to just everything being okay. Where are the technical responses to these challenges? They are completely absent from the staff report. They're not here tonight to, to answer your questions. Um, I would really encourage you as a Planning Commission to take the responsible approach and ask the questions, is the drainage provided for? Because it has not been addressed in terms of the questions we raised two weeks ago. Uh, so we have the same questions still in front of you. Um, and it doesn't appear to me that you have the answers to those questions. So uh, I respect the time you all put into 
doing your job as planning commissioners. I think it's difficult when you get presented with technical things, but it is the responsibility for the planning commission, in my view, to ask the tough questions and satisfy yourself that the staff is giving you an answer to those questions. Thank you. Thank you, John. Anybody else from the uh, attendees that would like to speak on this issue? If you could please raise your hand, or if you're on the phone, if you could uh, uh, dial star nine, that will raise your hand. Okay. Um, I do not see any other raised hands on this issue. So we, we're going to go ahead and close the public hearing and bring it back to um, back to the planning commission for some discussion. Um, Bill, this is I I wanted to just kind of um, maybe have your way in on this this drainage issue. Um, has this has the public works department looked at the revised proposal or the revised have revised plans been submitted that the public works department has reviewed to um, make sure everything is okay yes okay so and just to reiterate i think uh and reflect some of the questions that we heard this project before you tonight is solely a map. Uh, anything that has to do with changing the development on the site, changing what's on the on the ground, is not the subject of tonight. It's solely a map. So anything that would have happened in terms of changes happened separately, or if there's any other changes that need to be approved, they would happen separately from this hearing. So this this action to approve whether there's a map on this property or not. whatsoever. I wanted to confirm that for the Planning Commission just to dispel any of those potential questions surrounding that. Thank you, Phil. Uh, Dennis, it seems, like, it seems that you have a hand up. Yes, yes I do. Um, I have one question of staff and is, um, do we understand and um, that the conditions as respect to the project, which is the map, are the conditions and the mitigations that are identified within the mitigated neg negative deck, uh, will they reduce potential significant impacts to less than significance? Yes. Now, you'll note that in your previous staff report for this project, there were conditions that did not pertain to the map because we took the same conditions for the entire project and applied them to the map. We've since deleted those conditions that have already been implemented onto the project and no, lo no longer apply to the map. But anyway, back, to, so there's that. And then back to the initial study, yes, that does dictate um, what um, environmental mitigations needed to happen and need to continue to happen throughout the life of this project on this particular property. And that's why I specifically stated as written or being presented to us tonight. So I'm satisfied with your response. Thank you. And with that, I'd like to make a motion to approve a tentative map as presented oh, hold on, to us hold tonight. On, hold on a second, Dennis. We have one more comment. Randy would like to make a comment. Um, so I just want to make sure that I'm interpreting it correct from staff because <clears throat> we have very specific directions here. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you, Dennis. I didn't mean to disrespect you there. Um, so from what I'm understanding, interpreting, <clears throat> essentially, this is just the wrong venue for that discussion. This is just pertaining just to the map only. And the other issues that were brought up, that's kind of along with the construction process and other other things that the city's, that's just a separate area. Absolutely. If the Planning Commission wanted to change the design of this project tonight, that's not under our purview. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I was clear on that. Okay. Yeah. All right, Dennis, if you wanted to make a motion, uh, you're muted though. You're muted, Dennis. I'm making my way to the resolution. I can't. <laughs> it could be put on the screen, maybe. Hmm. There you go. 
Era una... Yeah, there we go. Um, I uh, recommend to the Planning Commission that we adopt the PC resolution approving vesting tentative track map uh, TR3187, approving a 31 lot subdivision and 43 residential airspace condominium units on resulting lot 31 based on findings and subject to conditions approval as presented tonight. I second. second that. <laughs> yeah, Randy seconded. Can we get a roll call on it? Yes, Commissioner Schmidt? Yes. Commissioner Hughes? Yes. Commissioner Anderson? Yes. Commissioner Heath? Yes. Vice Chairperson Keene? Yes. Chairperson Van Den Eickhoff? Yes. Motion passes 6 0. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, we're, we have a very short agenda tonight, but we're going to go ahead and turn some time over to our uh, director for a report. Hold on, commissioners get to comment first, right? Oh, please, commissioner Taco comments. Bell. Taco Bell's open. Tori, you're right. <laughs> I just went with it. Go for it, Tori. I just, I just had to comment that Taco Bell's open. My daughter and I have eaten there. It's wonderful. It's, you know, it's Taco Bell. <laughs> I've been uh, so adamant. I just had to alert every, you know, our um, hordes of followers that Taco Bell is officially open on the north side of town. So what uh, type of sauce? Mild? Fire. Fire. It's all, oh, yeah, yeah. fire. It's, it's fire. not really fire, though, you know? But it's just, just like, just like, like the, the perfect hair. spice and smokiness. Fire mm. is... My favorite. Yeah. I, yeah, I think you just stole Phil's uh, thunder. I think that's what he was going to talk about. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Taco <laughs> Bell's my thing. I, I had to follow up through on the Taco Bell. Uh, um, all, that was my only comment. And we appreciate just, that you do. Uh, Randy, Randy. I just have one comment. I just want to say that I'm really excited to have both of your leadership again. Uh, one thing I will say I have appreciated in this process is somehow we get create like a lot of consensuses that could be really hot and contentious and both use your demeanors have just been amazing at somehow taking that rubber band ball and untangling it in a calm way, just seeming nonchalant about it. And I just, I really appreciate that. So thank you. Thank you very much. Making Jeff blush, Randy. <laughs> Wait, oh, 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 I got screenshot that. <laughs> Um, any other comments? Well, if not, we'll go ahead and turn it over to Phil for his director's report. All right. Thanks, Chair. So this is our last virtual hearing. We'll be in person for our next meeting. At some point here soon, we're trying to bring the planning or the, the general plan update discussion to you. I don't have a definitive date yet because we're still going through some existing conditions, background reports, and, um, when the time is right, though, I'm going to let you know, we're going to bring you the general plan update, not like the whole thing to approve, but kind of where we're at in the process and kind of give you some updates and um, let you know what we've done so far. We give you some kind of rundown of, of where we are in the process, um, probably a, a little more so than what I just did for um, the uh, Kiwani. So I just gave them a presentation last week. We're going to give you also a little bit of what's called the existing conditions reports as we get those finalized here soon. So keep an eye out for that day. Um, but um, other than that, I don't think we have anything on our next agenda yet that has that has uh, been ready to take forward. I don't have that in front of me again, as usual, darn it. Annette, so correct me if I'm wrong, there's nothing on the agenda, right? Correct. We don't have any items ready for that next meeting date. Yeah. So our next in person is uh, a t to be determined. That's all I have for you tonight. Um, anybody have any questions for, for Phil? Are you ready for this in person? <laughs> we're ready. We're there for council. We're doing it anyway. So we're we're all set up. We're ready to roll. I'll bring Just the fire. Don't shot. forget pants, people. Okay. Pants. <laughs> pants. And not pajama pants. 
I mean, technically, Baby you can steps, have shorts Greg. if you want Baby to. Baby just... steps. <laughs> yeah. I've been reading a lot about style, and a lot of it's just underwear and large jackets, and that's acceptable at fashion shows and elsewhere. <laughs> well, at least have a kilt or shorts. <laughs> I want my UGG boots. I'm bringing my UGGs. <laughs> I think that's like slow uniform shorts, Uggs, and a sweater. A midriff sweater is like the slow uniform. As I far always as I wear know. Uggs to planning commission. See? Oh, wow. There they are. <laughs> you put them down. Yeah, you have any new updates on the uh, downtown enhancement? Uh, oh, yeah. We plan. finished all 10 of our open house workshops that we did those on weekdays we did those on evenings we did them on saturdays and so now we're comp compiling all of the comments we don't have that compiled yet but basically sums up it was successful if you didn't make it to one of those um you can still comment on the plan but we certainly opened a lot of doors for that so when we finalize those comments and hopefully it's cohesive we'll, we'll go um back to our um engineering consultant they'll incorporate those into a final plan and we'll take that final plan through a hearing process for final approval I mean the project's already been approved and funded but this is really about the actual construction drawings so um but the plan is to start construction in the 2024 season yes. so we go out once we get construction drawings done this year those will go out to bid uh later this year and then you get the contract all set up so they can start work spring of 2024, just our, over a year from now. Our so. portions are the, of the project or all of the project being funded through Slowcock or by the city? Uh, there's a little bit of funding that's coming from Slowcock. There's a lot of funding that's coming from uh, Senator Laird. Mm -hmm. And there's some funding that's coming from the city's general fund as well. And all that's in place at this point. Marks the funding for the project. Unless it bids out a lot higher than what we wanted it to. And we hope that doesn't happen. If it, that does happen, we'll have to scale the project back in terms of its amenities. So. Thank you. That's exciting. Don't scale back. Go big or go home. <laughs> well, I'm really looking forward to... Uh being together although i must i must admit that that being on zoom is pretty intimate because i can actually see all your faces you know i can look into your eyes while we're here when we're behind the dais it'll be a little bit harder to actually see all your faces but um it'll be good to be in the same room together again uh phil now the um city council they're doing are they doing a hybrid so they still they are still doing hybrid. We have enough of uh, a budget and a technical team to support council to do that. So that's going to be the challenge for a planning commission. I don't know that we'll have the ability to do hybrid. I think we'll have the ability for people to call in and for staff to handle that while we're there. But I don't know that we'll have the ability to do a true hybrid where we have it televised like the city council does. We can pull up our so, phones. <laughs> yeah. Video chat. Yeah, well, that, you know, that that's the only, I think that that is probably the downside of us going back in person is uh, the public particip participation um, will, I think, will drop significantly. Uh, but, but I am ha I am glad to be able to get together again at our next meeting. Yeah. Any any other comments? And pants. And more pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Well, in that case, we will adjourn to our not yet to be determined next meeting and uh, look forward to seeing you all then. Thank you for thank your everyone. leadership. Sounds good, mate. Glad you made it back home safely. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Nice to have you back, Jeff. Thank you, Tori, for filling in. Great job. Everybody, we'll see you in person next time. All right. Yep. See you next time, guys.